As usual, you guys can ask any Tekken related questions. Doesn't matter if it's Eddie or someone else. If I know it, I will answer it. If I know it. If I don't know it, then I will answer it anyway and act like I know what I'm talking about. That's how you're supposed to do it, right? The classic Tekken streaming special. Right. Counter hit down forward four, you can do it up there. Let me know how the volume levels are, by the way. I'll hire my mic volume. Alright. I'll check that out right now. There's also one thing I want to check out the wall while I'm here. Before I get going. I recently updated my graphics drivers on my video card, and I was hoping that it would make the FPS drops less severe. But I don't know. We'll see, I guess. Because this game runs like garbage. You said counter hit uh, down 4-4, four four, right? Ah, yes. You can do up 3. Alright, that's a pretty good follow-up. As you can see, the FPS drops are even more severe right now. Yikes. Alright, that's really good damage. That's guaranteed. I mean, it's not the biggest deal. Yeah, that's definitely guaranteed. Nice one. Thank you for that. Alright, let me restart at the wall. Alright. Alright. So let me do a quick little recap here while I'm looking through this from part one. As far as some of like the key moves, I think this is a key low. Really good low, down back three, four. Because, especially at the wall, right? Because at the wall, look at the situation right now. I'm at plus eight and I'm pretty much to Eddie's side. I don't know if I'm perfectly, at, looks like I'm perfectly at the side because I just got a side throw. So even if it doesn't wall splat, it's a natural combo low high. Even if it doesn't wall splat, Right here at wall splat, so you get a wall combo. And since you're in the side when you wall splat, you could probably float him off the wall, right? And do something nice. See? You got a full juggle instead of a full wall combo. But even if it doesn't wall splat and they stay standing, like for whatever reason that happens with this move sometimes, um, plus eight at the wall is nice. Where to get the latest version, uh, working version of Tech about? I use the same link that everybody else has been using, but I don't have the link anymore. If somebody has it, feel free to throw it up. Yeah, the GitHub page has it. Somebody else has uh, been messing with it to keep it uh, up to date, if you will. All right. So yeah, key move down back, uh, down back three four from last time. Uh, another key move, obviously, is gonna be. Uh, one plus two, I think it's a pretty important move when you're up close. With one plus two, three being a high risk, 12 frame, high counter hit launcher. Right? High risk because it's super punishable on block and has shit range. So you gotta be careful with that shit range. Uh, another key move, obviously, is counter hit back three, three. That's definitely a key move. Uh, and uh, what was it? Forward one plus, uh, sorry, forward plus three plus four. That is a huge move for him. Because this is a really solid Oki tool, and as you can see, let me go mid-stage. If you get the second kick to connect by itself like that, it's a juggle starter. Safe on block, uh, I forgot how it was. Uh, like you see, it's a juggle starter on normal hit. Up close, you get both kicks to connect and knocks him down. Hard knockdown. Cannot tech. And in general, it hits ground. It's just a great Oki tool. It's negative four on block? Yeah, negative four. Which you could uh, make it kind of variable. Trying to do a forward forward. See? Well, I did it before we offer that move, but there you go. So you can get like negative three situations like that. That means in certain situations on Oki, if you can find it, they tech into it, you might be able to use those uh, active later active frames to your advantage, block it meaty basically. 
There's four active frames, so you can, there are ways to make that negative one on block. Maybe even zero? I don't know, my math, my, my math might be a little off there. Uh, and yeah, in general, 15 frame launcher is down forward plus three plus four. Uh, from handstand. What was it? Back three, there we go. Back three from handstand when you're up close. Back three from handstand when you connect it up close is one of the few ways he could actually force the relaxed 50 50 launchers. In general, for the most part, the relaxed 50 50 is weak off of a lot of transitions because the launchers don't reach. They can back dash away from the launchers. Both launchers. Especially the low one because the middle one is like super unsafe on block. So they never have to worry about the low one. They just back dash and stand and block the middle one and then punish it. Right. Uh, sorry. Oh, yeah, and 1 3 is shitty, but relax 1 3 is basically kind of the same thing, but it's a natural combo on normal hit. That combo's on normal hit. But the 1 3 from standing, for whatever reason, it doesn't. It only combos on counter hit, and it gives kind of shitty plus frames. Uh, and as far as fighting against Eddie, when you're dealing with the handstand mix ups and transitions to handstand, he doesn't seem to have any sort of way to. Uh, stop you from mashing anything on uh, block on so far from what I've seen on the on block transitions like this you know or this all that shit right you know, that right all that shit on block if you have a 12 frame low which is this generic uh, he doesn't have the generic low does he which is basically like uh, uh, Eddie doesn't really have it but a lot of characters are able to do the generic full crouch down four which I doesn't even see even, even see to have as a move but whatever uh, the generic full crouch down four is 12 frames if you could do it from standing so any character that has that a lot of characters do like maybe half or a third of the cast have that the ability to do that from standing that will shut down pretty much any transition into handstand so if you're Nina you're gonna float his ass with down four one every time Whenever you block any sort of transition into handstand. The reason that's important is because Eddie's fastest move out of this is 12 frames. Handstand 4. Mid-high. And uh, armor, he has an armor move out of that. And armor loses to lows. And a very fast low will beat out both of those. If you don't have neither, then you kind of have to buy into this high-risk mix-up. You guys follow? Yeah, you gotta look at the GitHub page and there's comments. I don't I, I don't really use GitHub, so I don't know how to navigate it too well. Alright, let me switch to the wallet stage. Actually, let me go to the main menu and change some graphical settings because it's still running like shit. And that is really annoying. I don't know what it is with this fucking game. It runs like garbage. Look at this. My settings are very low. I'm, I'm running this on a, on a GTX 1070. I should be able to do at least high without these sorts of issues, but whatever. Whatever, low. Huh. Let's try window port of this. Alright. Now that that's on, I'm gonna turn off this app. I have a I have an app that forces window games to run in full screen mode basically full screen borderless which used to make the game run better than windows borderless but now that this shit is dipping like 10 frames i'm just gonna run it on the natural like borderless but that's the game welcome to the king of iron fist tournament seven uh could that avoid 12 frame no nah nah no, the handstand side step now. Nah. It's probably gonna play out the same way the side roll, the grounded roll does, uh, from relax. I don't think it's gonna play different, any different because the handstand side step. First of all, the handstand side step doesn't seem to avoid loads visually. He just tilts his body. Like I'll try it versus a slow low right now. We'll see. What's the info for this shit? I'm going through my Yakuza music right now because I'm in that Yakuza 5 mode, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I 
I mean, I guess he does move kind of sideways. I don't think it's going to avoid anything. Wow, he actually moved backwards. That's kind of weird. <laughs> yeah, it's not looking like it. Unless he do something really slow, which is the only thing he sidestepped, which was 18 frames there. See, that's the only thing he's avoiding, which is super slow. Anything that's even rem remotely fast. Well, I'm double tapping again. 2D fighting game shit. Alright, so he's getting around that though. Which is 15. But if you want you want me to be 100 percent sure, I should do the 12 frame load test, right? I got the impression that's more because of the spacing he creates off of that button than anything else though. Like if you were up close, no way in hell would that work. Also try the uh what was it? The Nina example. What other shit? fucking addicted to grape monsters. Or grape flavored anything really right now. Delicious. Once again, I get the impression that he's not sidestepping it, but he's uh, he's creating too much space. But yeah, see, he's pushing her back. In this case, though, he, she, he's still gonna get floated. Uh, fat dragon. Here's what I will say. Even if this were to dodge all to all of those 12 frame lows, he can't capitalize. He recovers too slow. So it's a free swing, basically, is what I'm saying. Out of that, uh, there it is. I know he has something. Does he have anything else out of that? I think that's his only move, right? He only has the low. I've seen this before. I know. I, I, I know that much, right? If I look at the handstand, oh, I'm on dragon off. Fuck. That's his only move. Up three or up four. Down three or down four. Weird. 
That's his only option out of that. So I could just react. It's not like... Oh, he needs to go the other way? Trying to crush. Oh. Uh, yeah, I don't record fast enough to swing again. But you can still low parry. Also, you Dragon players out there, please use the real jungle. Use it, please. Don't use that fucking fake ass down to pick up. It's not good. It's not. It's not consistent. You're gonna run some matches where you're gonna get fucked up for using that shit. Trust me on that one. Learn the instant wall. St it's not even instant. It's like crouch dash and then you like let go of the stick to neutral and then tap four for a while standing four. Welcome to the King of Iron Fist tournament, Eddie Gordo. Eddie Gordo. Yeah, that down, that down two shit is gross. <laughs> I'm sloppy with it because I haven't played Dragon Ball in fucking forever, man. I thought he would be my main coming into this game. For whatever reason, I haven't felt like playing him. He used to be my secondary. Next to Marta. So, alright, yeah. The uh, sidestep does throw, like, a little wrench into things. But not not so much that you get punished for using a 12 frame low. 12 frame low still seems to be the go-to thing in my opinion. Right? Uh, outside of that, yeah. You got to go. Uh, we got 10 free punishes, the jabs, of course. 13 free punishes, back 3 forward, which is a weird-ass input, right? But that's a 13 frame punish. Of course, you got to do a down forward 1-1 one, one for shit damage. Man, and better frames than this. That's plus 2, plus 8. So, uh, and then, uh, 14 frame punish. What was his 14 frame punish? I don't remember if he has a 14 frame punish, but 15 frame is launched. And then while standing... You know, while standing four for 11, and then for 13 frames, high only, he launches you with while standing one, three. And I think this is a natural combo also that would wall splat for more damage if you're near the wall, instead of doing this, right? Oh no, it's the same damage. All right, well, you recover standing, so maybe better wall combos, I don't know. And then 50 frame while standing is uh, while standing two. Simple. All right. So the move that I last left off at, was not this um back summy back summy the leg whip stuff i believe yeah i believe it was these moves and then that oh uh, yeah because i didn't do that Woo. so much close i can't even see your name who's holding me Oh, Rebel Rooster. We're looking out, amigo. Hope you're doing all right. All right, so uh, back four, four. Yeah, okay. So that basically is the same as uh, down back three, four. That second kick, back four. And the cool thing about that kick is it is a, uh, if you're on like a certain axis, it's a juggle starter. So it's the same thing with down back three, four. Uh, and then it has the same sorts of extensions, you know? Uh, what was it? Uh... And also, you can loop it over and over again, right? You can loop one of these. Whatever. I know they, they loop back into each other. Now, I covered that at the end of part one. So, back one plus two, his old... This is his old back two. So everybody knows for the most part, Eddie cannot or is really bad at doing regular sidesteps. He does have some sidestepping going on in his default stance while he's going back and forth here. But when you try to do manual sidestepping, it's just not its not that great for him. This is one of the things that you have to use. It's an auto sidestep right move. Uh, only right though. And it's safe on block and knocks down. I don't think he gets anything for free. Yeah.
If he does, it would be near the wall. And also, he gets weird Oki like that. Like, I'm sure if you were to hold back that boot. Yeah. See, that looks, see how it's hitting him back turn? That seems to be a setup if you were to hold back. Let's test that. Forward, forward three, with a slight delay, hold the second forward a little bit. Yep, yeah, that's definitely a hold back catch. You can hold up, though, to block that. But if I hold back, that's gonna hit me. So there's still risk in holding back in this game, because you turn around a little bit slower. And that's a perfect example. So if you get hit by this, and you want to get up, consider holding up instead of holding back. Like, hold up and then back. Like, when you, let, when you hit me. Or tap up and then hold back. Or just delay your gun up a little bit. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, so, yeah, it doesn't seem like he gets anything guaranteed. If he did, I would guess near, it would be near the wall because there would be less space created. And my guess is you would want to do forward plus three plus four, right? Uh, either way goes, this is still a pretty good move. Uh, nice chunk of damage, 24 damage, no counter hit properties. Just a little more damage. Same knockdown, right? Yeah, same knockdown. <laughs> What's up, Machizo? Yakuza has some great music. And uh, yes, I am very much a nerd. Alright, so, um... What's the testing? Oh yeah, on block. Negative six. Negative six on block, so it's kind of whatever. This, it used to be popular to do two of these back to back. I don't know why, because it is negative six. I mean, you know, the weird thing about this is it may not look it, but I feel, it feels like, just the general feeling, uh, historically throughout the series, playing against Eddie, it feels like this is more evasive to his right than a regular sidestep right here for most characters. Now, that could just be all up here in the old noggin because Eddie's fucking moving around, doing his dance shit, right? It could just be, hey, when I happen to move to my right in my default stance, right, and then do it, maybe it's like a double sidestep because of the way his fucking hurt box moves around. I don't know. Either way it goes, uh, you know, this is a good move. It's not a great move, it's a good move. It's one that he kind of needs, right? He doesn't have one going in the other direction, though. He only has one that goes to his right like this. In general, you're going to want to be backdashing a lot with Eddie. <clears throat> Next on the list, up back three. Ooh, this is one of those, uh, does it hit grounded? I'm pretty sure this hits grounded. Uh, we're gonna start position, we wanna be on the ground. Opponent status, face up, right? Boof, right? Yeah, this does hit grounded. This is one of those where, it seems like a lot of characters have this now. Some sort of slow, very slow, Eddie always had this, I think, but a lot of characters now seem to have some sort of very slow mid, right? This is 30 frames. So 25 to 30 frames, a slow mid that is plus on block. Uh, I am of the opinion that, especially in this case, because it hits grounded, these are generally what you want to use on Oki, which is to say not on o o to hit, not with the intent of hitting a grounded opponent, except in this case, yes, but they're usually used like, oh, they tech. So because they tech, they're going to be unable to sidestep linear moves. So as long as you time it right, like Dragon Ball's back one plus two, right? That's another classic example. Uh, they're gonna have to get up and block it. If they press anything, they're gonna take a shitload of damage. They shouldn't be pressing anything when they got up anyway, but we all know that people love doing that shit, right? So if you do some sort of knockdown that, kept, that keeps them close, or like some sort of wall combo, you can toss this shit out, and if they happen to stay down, it'll hit them. If they get up and they get hit, plus five. There's five active frames here. Yeah. What's a good knockdown? I haven't, I haven't set the tech. He can't tech this, though. Yeah, no, that's no good. Maybe at the wall, that's good. But mid-stage is no good. Does he have, like, a knockdown that keeps them close? This knocks him away. When it knocks down, it knocks him away. Um, This knocks him away, too. Uh, I don't know if he has a knockdown that keeps him close. Oh, that's not a knockdown. Think. Well, now I think about it, he doesn't have very many knockdowns. From default stance, at least. Uh... Anybody know of any knockouts I'm forgetting? A 4-4? Four, four? That's too far, I think. Yeah, see? 
Good idea, though. Yeah, see, man, I don't know. If you were able to dash deep before they could... Yeah, no. Yeah, da a deep dash isn't realigning good enough for that. Um, oops. Man, Eddie's knockdowns all send people flying away and shit, right? Uh... Yeah. He doesn't have any, uh... He has a lot of hard knockdowns, but he doesn't seem to have any, like, soft knockdowns that let them tech. But, uh, some of these knockdowns near the wall, like I said, like, maybe after this. But then again, you might want to do that instead. Because it might be guaranteed. How the way it goes. That's the general usage for this move. Uh, plus five force crouch on hit. On counter hit, we get a knockdown. I don't know if you can blow. Not guaranteed. So, just a quick low poke, I guess. Yeah, that's not guaranteed either. So, you pretty much got a quick low poke. Guaranteed after that. Nine damage, not bad. Down three. What's the other one? Eleven. Twelve. Yeah, so down three, I guess. Maybe something better, but for now. Woo! Next to the follow. The Elrico Jr. Um, so yeah, just go with a down three and uh, maybe look up what good Eddie players know. <laughs> to get to find a better uh, a better filler. But for now, I'm just going to say down three. Other way it goes. That's generally how you use this kind of mid, plus five. And it says here on the Tekken bot that it has five active frames, so you could theoretically get plus ten out of this. Theoretically, so if you were to use it in an Oki situation, consider that. 30 damage, too? That's good damage, yeah. Alright. Next on the list. Up three. Oh, yeah. So this is the one that you use after a counter hit down forward four low. Uh, let me do this. So, as video games mentioned earlier, counter hit down, uh, down forward four nets you up three. This is a really strong grounded hit. 24 damage, as you can see, and scaled as a grounded hit, because you see the 80% next to the damage. Thank you very much for the follow, Hunchy. As you can see, 80% uh, scaling for the damage, so that is a grounded hit, and that's 24 damage. So, really good damage on that. I don't, I don't think I would use this outside side of that situation though it does seem like it might evade some shit like maybe at the apex of that flip he might go over some jabs but i wouldn't count on it for a move like this right definitely something that you would use in like guarantee situations or <coughs> excuse me specific oki situations <coughs> so yeah be careful with that uh he might have more like maybe counter hit down forward four is not the only situation he might have some more situations i don't know uh, next. Oh yeah, let me check how it is on block. I'm sorry, I might as well do that, right? Even though I don't, uh, you know, I don't recommend you use it this way. I'm still gonna check. Look at that. Negative 24 with push block. So you could chase this down. I don't know. If, maybe I don't know. There's a lot of space grid. Let's see. Oh man, just hearing this fucking song makes you want to play that mini game again. Yeah, nah. Eddie himself won't be able to chase this down, but maybe some characters can. Yeah, I would be careful. If, if you were, like, to fight against an Eddie player doing this on block, and you block it, and you run in, my bet is they're gonna, like, test you and see if you're gonna come in swinging, and they're gonna, you know, set you up to run into something, basically. So, I would do, like, a fake out, you know? Dash, stop, and then if they do something with punishment, whatever, right? <clears throat> Next. Uh, also, is there any... No, that's like, that shit knocks him all the way across the screen. Bat Summy. Ah, so this is his way to do this, basically. This is one, one, two, four. He does this flip. You can do it with up four. And then... But, yeah, he has the low. And he has the high out of it. I don't know if he has a way to land and relax without the kick. Oh, uh, so you, he only lands and relax if you do the kicks, it looks like. Let me look at the RB Norway data. Up four. Up four, three. Up four, four. Yeah, no mention of it here. 
so I'm gonna guess that's a no. Is uh, the kick a, the kick is a mid? Which kick? Up three? Up three is mid. The two kicks from the backflip are high and low. High and low. Right? One thing you should know about that low, though, I found this out when I did part one. Yeah, uh, video games just brought it up. Spoilers, video games. <laughs> I think it's just something you use to exploit people's lack of knowledge. You're testing their knowledge. I don't think there's a reason to use this otherwise. Uh, so, uh, as Beetle Games has said, the low is plus on block. Plus four on block. Plus four on block, relax, and he's right in your face. Pretty much, right? If you were to swing with uh, your fastest move from blocking this crouching, it's 11 frames, you're going to exchange with that. Does that have any countering properties? Uh -huh. No, it doesn't. Okay, thought so. Not even a lot of damage. Uh, so yeah, plus four on block, so low parry, low parry, low parry. And you have no reason not to low parry when you see this flip coming, right? Just don't, like, you know, low parry and then stand up if you see he's standing. You can pretty much get the hang of reacting to this. But, you know, if he does the high, then he lands and relax and just hit him with, like, a while standing four or whatever your while standing 11 frame move is, and then just knock his ass away. Always remember that shit, people. Also, once again, because I feel this is important, I'm gonna, I brought this up 100 times in part one. The rules to punishing relaxed stance, right? Block punishing. When he does a move that is actually, like, block punishable, like, well, how do I word this? Like, I'll just give the classic example. Back 3-3, three, three, it's negative 14 on block. You're gonna see this a lot from both bad and good Eddie players because it's a really good move and the bad players that mash it, they're just gonna mash it because it's like fast and it hits often. The good players ma use it because it's a strong counter hit. So 13 frame launcher, right? For a lot of fucking damage too. Yeah, that's a 33 damage counter hit launcher, right? 13 frames. So if you look at the bot, it's negative 14 on block. That means that if you hit, you could punish him with the move that is slower than 14 frames. It will not say punish when you do this, but you can because he can't block in his stance, right? You uh, you could even hit him with something like an 18, like an 18 or 19 frame move and, uh, that hits grounded. But if you have a 14 frame or faster move that will hit relaxed and you, uh, you properly block punish that, it will float him, float juggle style. And then the best example is this very same fucking move, back 33 for Eddie. So, if I do that, negative 14, that's a 13 frame move. It floats. It floats. Boom. And it counts, uh, it says punish. I can still punish this though with a 15 frame move, but here's what happens. See, that's 15 frames and it hits, it hits very low to the floor. It doesn't float. If this were negative 15 right now, that would float and the kick would tailspin him. Well, of course, correct. But because it's 13, it floats him. If you're geese, back three, 14 frames, will float him. Then he could do down four, forward three, into back four, four for a jungle. Uh, Bob back two, maybe. If Bob's back two is 14 frames, I don't know how fast it is. But if it is, and it hits, I'll just test for you. Yeah, but if it follows that rule, Yes, it will. <clears throat> now, if you fought against capo players before that, like, get fully launched out of relax, that's because they're mashing. To the King of Iron Fist tournament See, seven. the other thing about relax stance... Where's Bob? The other thing about relax stance is... If Eddie gets hit... Excuse me. That's what I'm stuck in my throat. If Eddie gets hit during the startup of his relaxed moves... He gets hit as if he were standing. Like it instantly moves his hurt box up to stand. His <clears throat> cables messing with me. So here we got Bob, right? He's a fucking wave dash character. This is my uh, Tekken Bob, Bros. There it is. 
That's a 13 frame minute. I didn't know that. I thought the this is a See, I didn't know that this was 14 frames, and I didn't know that that was 13. I thought Bob didn't have a 13 frame move after I found out that that was 14. So anyway. Um Right? Yeah, there you go. 13 frames. Bob floats for juggle. I don't know what the juggle is because I don't play Bob, but you know, it's, it's a whatever the fuck your juggle is. I've been punished by Bob with back two, two, four, four. Oh, that's a, that, that is a, uh, that's a tailspin, right? Yeah, there you go. Ha! See, like, so if you're punishing shit like this with this, you're doing it wrong. Because this is a matchup thing. Bob doesn't have to do that. Now you know. Cracker Jack. Um, yeah. <clears throat> what else can I, what other guy, examples can I pick up? Uh, Nina will pick him up with uh, down 4 1, of course. 12 frames, like I said before. Uh, what other examples? Uh, I, I mentioned these. Dragon off will not. Brian cannot. Uh, I don't think Paul can. Uh, Jin maybe with his knee. I forget how fast his knee is though. He definitely cannot. I'm just thinking about the characters that I use. I don't know about the whole cast. I mentioned Geese's back three is gonna pick him up. Uh, yeah. Claudio? Probably not. Mm, yeah, I'm not sure. Eddie Gordo. Eddie Gordo. Maybe things down forward one? Maybe? I don't know. See, it really uh, depends on if you have the hitbox to hit him and relax. That's what it depends on. So if you don't have the flow option, that's when you hit him with like a stomp or something, or it's something that hits ground. That's slower, basically. And to show you what I was talking about, see, now he's mashing, right? Now he's mashing. Like, you know, the bad capital players. So that means I fucking launch him full because he's trying to mash. If he were not mashing, if he were not mashing, 15 frame move. It hits him, but I get nothing. And that is the rule. I gotta lower this volume. It's kind of killing me right now. As much as I love this song. Alright. Uh, I don't think... Hop kicks, um... They don't... No, no, no. Uh, some will hit him, right? Some will hit him. Before, it would have been like, oh, if the hot kick hit him, and like, for example, it was one of the hot kicks that bounded instantly. Like, I think Elisa's might have hit him and bounded him before. There's no bound, though, and not not anymore. So, like, even though Elisa's hot kick would cause the bound animation, it would only cause that on a standing opponent. There's no bound on the floating opponent anymore. So, if I were to guess, the first hit of her hop kick would hit him, and the second hit would just spike him. And if it was like a floor break stage, you would be able to actually turn that into a juggle. So that's the rule. He does have stuff that, that goes to relax as worse on block too. It's not just that, that's not the only one. It's just, that's the one you're gonna see the most often. Uh, in other instances, if he goes to relax stance at like negative five, he has that in a couple of instances, your uh, 12 frame low is gonna catch him. Uh, I think 15 frame lows work there too. But when you start getting into lows that are like 16 frames, then he could actually interrupt you. But then, when you do that, you're getting him to mash relax at negative 5. Which is a whole other thing you need to take advantage of. Because as I just showed you, thank you for the follow, Kadahan. Uh, as I just showed you, if you're getting an Eddie player to mash at relax at negative 5, you're going to hit him as if he's standing. The trade-off is, you you might be swinging at him with something like that, that doesn't hit relaxed. <laughs> but will only hit him if he mash. Let me see, let me test that real quick. Right. Yeah, okay. 
As long as you're as long as you're using something that would hit relax if he were to stay down, you're you're covered. Just make even if even if it has to be slower, make sure it would hit relax if he were to do nothing. Otherwise you're gonna whip. Even if he swings. His hurt box doesn't move up to the standing position, but he gets hit as if he were standing. That's how I should word it, right? His hurt box clearly is still low because that whiffed, even though I was mashing. But the way he reacts to hits were, would be as if he were standing, which is just, that, that's just a really weird Eddie specific thing, capo specific thing. It's one of those quirks, man. He's a high risk character, but he's only high risk if you know how to punish him. If you don't know how to punish him, then you're just gonna get fucking mixed up all day, and there's no risk involved. And when you have a, a high, you know, high reward mix-up character without, and you remove the risk, it's fucking OP. Of course, it's, you know, of course it's gonna be a problem. So that's this one, right? Okay, yeah. So that, yeah, I was, I got sidetracked, but I explained all that yet again. All right, so this is what we just looked at, right? Yeah, remember, you can only do that at a one-two. Or just do it by itself. All right, we already know, we, we already talked about this. That's the low. That's plus four. Uh, the high. What's the high on block? At? It looks like he might get set up for three, but he's too far away. Uh, Staggard. Negative three. But look at all the space. He <clears throat> Excuse me. Squeaky voice. All the space he created. If you're gonna be like, oh, negative three, let me attack. You're gonna get fucked up. You're gonna get you know hit with something. Uh, fire kick. Ah, this one. Okay. So you could input this as up plus three plus four like this, or up back. Uh, up forward is preoccupied with another move. Uh, up plus three plus four is plus one. Plus one on block mid kick. Up back, uh, I forgot if up back is the same. I had him blocking before, right? There it is. Negative nine. Uh, the up one knocks back on normal hit. Same thing on counter hit. The up back one, if I could get get it to hit, it doesn't do anything. I feel like there's something about this move. Oh, it's not the move that I'm thinking it is. He has a way to do this forward, right? What's up, Derek? I think he has a way to do this forward. I forget how. Let me make a cross. I feel like there was some, there's something about this move that I feel like I'm forgetting. Huh. Well, anyway, it's a plus. It's a low crushing mid that's plus one on block. Not bad. There's definitely a use for that. You could obviously get floated. It is, it is on a. It's only 20 frames. It's not that slow. Now that I think about it. Let's see what what he uh, what he RB Norway is saying here. Uh, RB Norway says, "Yeah, the up back one is 99. The up one knocks down. Yeah, so the up back one that's more unsafe, but like you're moving backwards. So if they were to block, it doesn't matter. It's plus on hit without any knockdown. The up one is plus on block with uh, knockdown on normal hit. There is something that I'm forgetting about this move. Check this out." We can go to relax out of it. Now, I don't know how this changes the frame data. So that's a 15 frame mid. If I were plus one, which I don't think I am. Oh, the spacing is great. Look at the spacing. All right, well, I'm ready. That was a punish. That down four when it connected was a punish. So the space they makes us swing after this a little weird. I called it. Once I saw that this connected and was a punish, that's a uh, 15 frame low. The 15 frame back two floated him. Remember what I told you about the punishing relaxed. So the idea here is you use the regular version just as a plus on block thing, and then you uh, have them respected, I guess, by like jabbing them or whatever, fucking them up for swinging at you, however you can, right? And then when they stop swinging at you after blocking it, that's when you can like unlock, you unlock, you hear me? <laughs> like it's a fucking secret cheat. That's when you can start using the relaxer when you get them scared. 
Yeah, that is a great move. That's pretty much how this move works. Now, he could also go into relax off of the jump back, jumping backwards one. So if you were to, like, to run at him, he could hit you and then go into relax. It's a little goofy, I don't know. It's not like amazing, but it's just, just another way to fuck with people, get, go, get it to relax, mess with their heads. Just know that, uh, you know, on block, that's pretty shitty. And you can get floated, as long as they have the range to do it. It says, um, how much did it say? Negative 19. Yeah, that floated. That's an 18 frame, uh, low. And it floated. So, that's really bad. On block. So you're taking a big old risk. And Negativa, that's what I did. Jumping jacks is next. Alright, so jumping jacks, up forward three. This is definitely a move that you see any players use often. Does that hit grounded? I don't think it does. Let me check. Why is he standing up? Oh, that's why. Okay, he does. How do you do the low? I know he has a low out of this. All right. Well, that doesn't hit grounded. So, let's turn that off. So, this is an obnoxious string, right? You've seen this before. He has the mid out of it. I believe that combo's on counter hit. No, it doesn't. The mid is a launcher. There it is. And then he has the low. And the low is a knockdown low. Uh, he probably only gets the uh, relaxed three low out of it. Yeah, thought so. I don't know if he gets anything better. No. So just relax three, I guess. Right? Hmm. I can't test this with Eddie. I'm gonna switch characters temporarily. Of course, definitely uninterruptible. This is a classic Eddie move. There probably is some sort of option select you could use to fuck with this. Right now, my brain, based on the animation, my brain is telling me Backdash. Backdash is going to make one of them whiff. <laughs> I don't know what though. That's what my brain is telling me. Kick forces crouch. Yeah. All right. Here's another guess. The low is not gonna track. It's not gonna. In one direction is my guess. Counter on reaction, huh? Jesus, Keys, come on. In case you're wondering what I'm doing, because the first kick forces me to crouch on block, I could only instantly sidestep up towards the background. So I'm testing right and left. That's why I'm switching sides with the counter. Yeah, you gotta buy into this mix up. Right? You definitely gotta buy into this mix up. Um, let's test something else.
So I can't rage art instantly because I'm crouching. But it doesn't look like it doesn't look like that's gonna work here. Yeah, I think you gotta buy into this. Could the his armor launching combo wait what? Could the Steve instant while standing pickup thing in his armor launching combo work? I'm not sure what you what you're talking about, Raiden. What's up, Java? Let's see how you can pick up when you block this. What is this on block? Negative 14, but I'm crouching. This is slow. That sucks. I don't know if Geese could get anything out of that. But this makes your typical while standing four is gonna pick up. What do you know? You nah, shit. Yeah, so Geese can pick up. So your typical while standing four pickup is gonna work. Unfortunately, that means that Gigas is fucked on that. <laughs> He's not gonna get anything over that. Uh, as far as the mid goes, negative 23. You need distance, but you can punish that. So as long as you have distance, uh, you mean Steve's duck into the machine gun punch? I don't think it's relaxed. How punishable are the options? Well, I just showed that. <laughs> so negative 23 for the mid, you need distance though. He, can Geese punish it without meter? Yeah, it's hard. Damn, how do you do that shit instantly? I'm trying to do instant while standing. Yeah. Without me, the geese can't punish it. Bad matchup. <laughs> oh my god, that shit's still with her. Right. Uh, the low, while standing four. The low is negative 14. So if you have a while standing flow option that's 14 frames or faster, that's what you do. See? That's 13 frames. Although it's inconsistent. So my guess is your typical while standing four. <laughs> or you can low parry. Be pretty much the same damage if you want to get slow. Uh, yeah. So let me switch back to Eddie. The only solace you could have is knowing that even on counter hit, neither of those uh, um, follow up options are going to hit you. Unless you guess wrong, but you can still guess. That's <laughs> what I'm saying. It's not a counter hit combo. I don't think you can instant while standing in two frames. Uh, you can. You can't do it with geese. Two frames is best case scenario for instant while standing. I have punished negative 14 frame moves before with Dragon Ball's instant while standing one plus two. Not in the match, in training mode. It's to be clear. It's like, good luck doing that in the match. The but on paper, two frames, if I'm not mistaken, is best case scenario for instant while standing. Adding two frames. Dragon Ball's while standing one plus two is 12 frames. <clears throat> All right, so anyway. He has rage. So armor is not an option, and rage art is not an option. Not only because of the force craft, but probably because there's not enough of a gap. Because both of those need eight frames to start up. Armor and rage art. Uh, this is a really cheap move. Because that 50-50 is what allows him to use this. You're going to be thinking about the 50-50... So he's like, all right, I'm going to go to relax. And now in this distance, he could do the launching relax mix-up. Because he's right in your face. Right? As a matter of fact, let's record it this way. No, not that. 
Ooh. Yeah, that's just an Eddie thing. If I were a regular character, that would have hit me 100%. Eddie's weird. Ah, maybe not. He recovers too slow. Alright. He lands close, but it looks like he recovers too slow, and that slowness allows me to backdash away. Because he's negative, what, 11? Ooh, that whiff. Oh, that's a high. What am I doing? So I guess you could mash a wall standing four after blocking that shit, but it's a risk. So you either guess the follow up or uh, buy into the relaxed mix of after the fact. <laughs> All right. Um, I guess my only suggestion is if you're gonna guess block mid, backdash. Don't just hold back, because then if you were to go to relaxed, you would get away from the love, like I just did. You guys follow? So that's my suggestion. If you're guessing mid, backdash and stand block. You will still block the mid. As long as you don't backdash cancel and block, uh, sorry, block low, duck, whatever, even for a frame, you're going to be safe from the mid. Uh, yeah. There's no real tracking on that, I know that. But I can't test tracking with Eddie because it's not reliable when it's sidestep. Um, I believe it's also floor breaks. If you can get him to... How can I do this? Yeah, that'll probably floor break. Also, is that guaranteed if he were to do the follow-up? No, maybe not. Uh, why the hell there's so many different people named Safe on Switch? I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> anyway, uh... Yeah, so that's up four keepers for. That's just cheap. Uh, the low. Yeah, we already went through it. The uh, relaxed low is what'll catch you. Guaranteed after the low. Up four four is next. So I mentioned this move uh, earlier, and well, not earlier today, but when I did part one. Uh, you can only input it as up four four, obviously, because up back four gives him the bootleg uh, runaway hop kick. And up four is the flip. This is just a. Uh, a pop, especially near the, it's basically this is at best near the wall. It's just like a kind of like a dragon of a four four except no follow up. Safe on block, low crush, uh, mid that hits pretty hard. Twenty five damage, pretty good. Nothing special on counter it, but like I said, it does wall splat. It looks like it should track to Eddie's left, but I don't think it does. Um, I don't know. I can't test that here, but yeah, no, I can't test that here. I have to switch sides. Test that. Maybe I don't, actually. Right. Yeah, I don't know if that's just tracking or that's just me leaning into the move because it's so slow. Alright. At the moment, I don't think this tracks. Uh, I'll go through that some other time. But yeah, so it's just a solid move. Negative 8 on block. A uh, tiny bit of pushback, but nothing I would count on. You know? You're still going to be pretty much in jab range. Check and test. Huh. Maybe not. Not for Eddie's jab. Oh, shit. I'm an idiot. No. I'm doing this wrong. I have to record this. I'm an idiot. Sorry. My brain does weird shit like this sometimes. He has to do the move and then backdash. Yeah, see? You can't backdash from the jabs. You can't backdash from that. From that. So yeah, negative eight, not enough space created to really make uh, use out of your own backdash. So it's pretty shitty on block. And uh, the reason I felt like the need to really bring that up is because I see a lot of Eddie players do two back to back on when the first one is blocked. And it's like, well, what the fuck are you doing? You know? Is there a way to make it shallow block it? Uh, like, it does, see, it doesn't really push push back much. 
and Eddie lands where he lands. He doesn't move himself back. So it's just, it's kind of, you know, it's whatever. This is most threatening near the wall, I, I would say. Uh, up back or up one plus two. Okay, this is a big one right here. This is a good move. It's a high, though. So that's the thing. <laughs> uh, you can do up back, up forward, or up, right? So here's the thing about this move. When you input it as up one plus two, he starts juggles. I don't know what the pickup is, though. Uh, anybody know what the pickup is off of this? Oh, that does pick up. Back three, three. Okay. So the thing about it is, what about up forward one plus two? Because up one plus two has, like, you know, no fucking range, right? It's basically going to hit people when they come in with a low and, and with nothing else. And it is a high. So they would have to be coming in with a low that doesn't high crush. Like, Dragon Dawn's down two. You're not going to use this against Dragon Dawn's down two. Uh, here's, the de here's the deal, though. When you input it as up forward one plus two, it has this funky animation where he pushes them down between his legs. And he lands all the way back here like this. Uh, I don't know if there's anything crazy about this up the wall, but he doesn't have any unique back turn moves. So it's kind of shitty in my opinion. So if you're gonna use this input up one plus two. So the reason why it's it's like kind of shitty like this is because on Malak, it's only negative three. Which is rare for like a juggle starter, a juggle starting low crush to be like that safe on block. I mean, there, you know, there's a lot of juggle starting low crushes that are safe on block, but they're like negative seven, eight, you know? But those are mid. This is a high. So it is only negative three. And that's basically how you want to use it. I would like, like I said, I only input it as up. Because up forward is like, yeah, you get more distance, but the reward is shitty. He does have a unique back turn with people. Oh, yeah, he has that weird ass flip, right? Just one, though. Like, he doesn't have anything that's going to, like, mix up, you know? That's what I mean. He doesn't have, like, a Ling Zhao Yu. Or maybe that's pushing because Ling Zhao Yu has, like, a full moveset. Or, like, a Huarang. You know, who actually has... Or, better yet, Law. Law is the best example. Because Law has... A straight up 50-50 from back to That's what I mean. So like, it doesn't feel like a great reward to be put in back turn, even if you had an advantage. If you were Eddie. Outside of some super specific crazy ass setup using that weak, unique move. Uh, Alright, so that's that. Oh yeah, by the way, the, the block forces crouch. Also, I should say. This, that's the negative three force crouch. They recover crouch. Keep that in mind. That means their fastest move is going to be crouch jab for low parry or 11 frame while standing mid, which is more than likely what they're going to do. Uh, next is up forward three for four. So this move got mentioned before. It is negative 13. I honestly, I honestly don't know what how to use this move. I mean, like I said, you got this for low crushing mid. It's a little more damage. Uh, this used to be used in juggles. It covers a lot of distance, I think. Yeah, that second kick has good reach. But, uh, oh man. It does keep him kind of close. Not that close. Yeah, no good. yeah I just don't know what, what to think of this move anymore. Uh, it's just a combo tool, right? Yeah, but even then it feels weak because it's two hits. It's two two hits that are low damage. I didn't know it, it corkscrewed, so that's one thing it does. So it might be for this move now. It's definitely one that I've seen in, in uh, Tag 2 combos and shit, right? I don't know when he first got this move, but I definitely remember seeing it in Tag 2 combo. Thing is, the way they change the scaling in this game, for you guys that don't know, right? When you launch, when you hit a grounded opponent, it's going to be like 100 damage, right? Unless it's counter hit. The moment you, they're off their feet and you start hitting them in the jungle state, that's when the damage scaling starts, right? Typically, Geese is like, and Akuma have unique uh, scaling proportions for like the hits that stick when they stay grounded. Uh, so for example, like this whole string is a counter string that hits them grounded. All three hits are 100%. The moment I launch them though, the first hit post launch is 70%. Then it goes down to 50, 40, 30. Like, Big jumps, big jumps. It was always, in Tekken, it's always been the first hit post-launch. It's like, 
a small like drop and then it just goes to small incremental drops after that but now it's just the first hit is a small drop well not 30 percent is not a small drop but in comparison it's a small drop and then it just goes all the way down right and this is why when i went through the paul move list which you could see if you go down to my youtube i got a lot of character move lists that i've done like this uh paul's best juggle is like down forward one sway sway kick four and then run up clean hit death fist. It does more damage than a combo that does like twice as many hits. That's why, because those are all, except for the down forward one, those are all very strong hits. The death fist by itself is 60 damage. And the sway kick is like 35 or some shit. So that's going back to this move. It's two hits, 10 and then 20. 20 is attached to the second hit. You're like, you know, unless he has to use it. Yeah, use up the wall. Does it hit low to the ground? Mostly to convert the wall. Okay, so it's, yeah, it's basically a limited juggle use now. That's pretty much all. If, it, it feels like with the new scaling, I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't recommend using it outside of that. Very specific stuff. And it's like, you know, as, as you saw earlier, negative 13 on block. Like, sorry. He recovered standing. But yeah, negative 13 on block. That's, that's fucking shit. It might track, I don't know. Is two hits. It's gonna knock your scaling down for two hits that are low damage. Uh, there, there. That doesn't mean it's useless outside of juggles. That you know, there might be a situation where, hey, it's a good counter to a certain situation where the opposing character is airborne, right? And as I showed earlier, it's a, it's a force. So, oops, so if you were to hit an airborne character, you're gonna get a juggle, right? So. There might be some situations where it'll be useful, but just as a general neutral tool, not a fan. Uh, bam, I'm all the way back up here, huh? Mea lua pulando. I don't know what's happening that. Ah, yes. If I recall right, this is actually, I don't know if this is a new move or a new string. No, it's not, right? This is still really good. Right? So it's not a natural combo. Um, the low is plus four on hit. And the low on counter hit knocks him down, which I guess that's another up three situation, right? Yeah, it looks like it. So that's another situation for free 24 damage added on. Which is a lot, because the first hit was what? 21 plus 24 damage. That's a lot of fucking damage. It's 45 damage. Uh, on block, that is... Oh, is that big? Oh, I thought that was a high. Negative 15. So that's bad on block. You're going to get lost by most of the cast. Uh, most of the cast not named Steve, Huarong, and Gigas, I guess. Uh, but, um... Still... So, that mid by itself is plus six on hit, homing. Only negative four on block. Only negative four for a mid homing forward forward input move. Which means it adds some space to it. Because the arm is short, the actual swing is short, but you could just like double tap forward forward and then hold it for a bit. For a little bit. See? And really add some, add some distance to it. And then on counter hit, it combos. Only plus four though. As if it were to hit the low, uh, if, if the low were to hit standing regular hit. So the whole thing is it's only negative four on block. So if they were to block, in my opinion, that makes that makes the first hit by itself really good. Only negative four. So you do this to like a couple of jabs, whatever, you know, and then eventually you throw out the low. They keep mashing after they block that. It's one of those. You could fish for that low on counter hit by itself. And then, uh, what else? Right. Okay, so you can low parry. Not if you get hit by the high, the, uh, by the mid, sorry. If you get hit by the home mid, you cannot low parry, so you have to low block. Uh, the music is still going. It's just really low right now. How high is it? It's a light song playing right now. There it is. Yeah, I'm using uh, RB Norway right now. 
stuff. So yeah, good move. Really good move in my opinion. Next, for <laughs> lunging brush fire. Uh, that's a good name. Lunging brush fire. This is definitely like an Oki tool. Uh, it's a pretty decent whip punish tool also. A lot of range. You're inputting forward forward, so of course it's a lot of range. This is one of those where you can hold the second forward for a pretty long time. If you hold it for too long though, you're gonna get if you have too much space, you're gonna get the slide a lot running three. But in general. In general, it's pretty good. And if I'm not mistaken, what is it, you hold back? Yeah, if you hold back, you go into handstand. And if you hold down, you go into uh, relaxed. The question is, how is that on block? And it says negative one. That's a pretty good way to go into relaxed. Negative one? The handstand one is really bad because he's creating space, he moves back. But all the space he's creating, it's like, good luck. You might be able to punish that, but good luck doing it. I mean, do you want to really run at him when, the moment you block that kick? When he can just fall into a relaxed stance at negative one? Do you really want to run at him to chase that down? I think they do. Probably do that, right? The moment you do that, that pause makes it weird. The moment you try to run at that, nah, there's a big gap there. I think it's because my input is weird because he, when he gets hit, it does that close, close up camera that pauses it. So I feel like the recording of my input is being affected by that. By the way, it goes. My second boss stopped working. Didn't it? That's a 16 frame bar. Okay. He's saying he's negative three. So that's gonna counter it. Those uh, 20 frames. Didn't I find something that was 20 frames before and I was surprised that it was 20 frames? Like too low, you know. There it is. Yeah, that's negative three on block. I just exchanged, after blocking it, I used a 18 frame low. He used a 15 frame mid. That's a 15 frame mid kick. And we exchange. Minus three on block. The moves with two or three forward inputs have some type of extra tracking. They keep clicking me when I try to sidestep. Uncle Raid, and the reason for that is this is a universal thing about second. I'm gonna have to switch characters for a moment to show you this. So think about second. Well, you can think about you could apply real life fighting mechanics like combat sports, boxing, or MMA, movement mechanics, and apply them in fighting game form. If you're playing a 2D fighter, footsies, your timing. You're trying to find the timing to counter what your opponent's going to do. It's all timing. You're moving around and timing. Right? So... Give you an example. Right? You're, you're asking about wall running moves and the reason why and forward forward moves. So the reason they're doing that is because every time you tap forward, you realign. You realign with your opponent. So if I were to make him stand guard and let's say sidewalk right, right? So, that's not a good example. Um, Alright, 
I have to record him doing it to me. Alright, it's because I'm on Snoopy's side. I'm bad at doing it until I run into Snoopy's side. Alright, I got a better idea. Right? See that? Right. Now, what if you were to delay that a little bit? Ah, that's fucking hard as shit to do. Maybe Geese wasn't a good example. Let me try this again. Geese definitely wasn't a good example. I'm gonna use Dragon on it. Who has good four four? Welcome to the King of Iron Man. This is not bad. Um, let me play around here for a second. Uh, that's a homie move. Paul would be a good example. Ah, here we go. Here's a good example, right? For extra oomph, pick Lily. So here's a good example. So the, th the thing about Claudio is he mixes up the while running two, which is a high, with the forward forward four, which is a mid that can come out seamlessly out of while uh, running. Right? And this is a universal rule for all characters in Tekken. Right? That's how he mixes up. That, right? So. Let's see? That doesn't track. But if I add a little delay to it, every time I'm holding forward, look at look at how I'm turning with her. You see that? I'm realigning with her. As long as I'm holding forward, like, you don't have to take a full step. You just have to hold forward. You, if theoretically you could hold forward for like one or two frames, you're gonna realign. I don't even have to dash. This includes posts. So let me see. Um, here you go. Uh, the pennant. Uh, let me find a better. Okay. I'm only holding forward for a little bit to realign and hit. So the way you're supposed to not, like if she did not want to get hit by this, what she would have to do is sidestep cancel and then sidestep again. That's what she would have to do. So like, uh, let me see, if I'm, maybe, Claudio sidestep this kind of whatever, but... That doesn't track, right? See? Now she's tracked. So I, either I have to delay my initial sidestep to go with the timing of that, or sidestep cancel and try to sidestep again. In this window, though, you're not going to be able to do it because that's a jab until like a 13 frame poke. Whereas even, even though delaying the 13 frame poke, the window's going to be too small. You can always just cancel your sidestep and block. And this is why step guarding is so important. Also, if I were to come into a full on sidewalk, uh, she would still hit me actually. Oh, maybe not. Depends on how much she holds forward. Still, you get the idea, right? You can also sidestep to real life. You can totally just. Uh, and then if I were to try to sidestep that, oh, all of a sudden we got that. But if I were to wait for her to sidestep, and then um, try to get around it. It's all about timing. All about it. And this is how it, how it plays out more in higher level time. Because it's about making your linear moves track. Yeah. Holding forward. And mind you, that includes full crouch. That includes full crouch. Look, uh, see, see, see. Same, same thing. Same thing. 
this is why, uh, for example, anybody that has a slide mix of crouching, like uh, Law and Lee, this is why it's so hard to sidestep, maybe not the slide, but the mid. Even though he's like, oh, that mid is not supposed to fucking track out in that direction or whatever. <laughs> you get clipped all fucking day. Because they're holding, they're naturally holding forward to make you see the slide. And that's realigning it. That's why that happens. So the same thing applies to Eddie's forward forward three. Same thing. It's just some moves are like super linear, so you have to really, really hold forward for like a good uh, while, a good couple of frames to get that real line in there. But you know, some moves have semi tracking, some moves have like negative fucking tracking, right? That's just how it is. So that's it. Uh, ever since DR, what's up, George? Ever since second DR, I think. That's when that kind of thing started to happen. I don't, I'm not sure if it was like that before. But that was, uh, I remember it being particularly infamous because of Julia, right? JC, Julia back then. Party Crasher was forward, forward one. 12 frame mid elbow that floats you out of the air for juggles. If you're on the floor, you try to get up, hold up, or hold back to get up. It floats you, she's gonna juggle you. Fucking Party Crasher. And then when you block it, she's going like negative three or negative one, I think, or some shit. And that was back in the days of eight frame jab. So if you were a 10 frame jabber, even though she was like negative three, you would be afraid to swing at her, you know? So yeah. Oh, and she had Skyscraper Kick, which is a normal hit jungle starter also, attached to the 441. They turned that into like a kick that knocks you away in the later games that only gave her a jungle thing counter. And it was a high. Skyscraper Kick back then was a mid. That started jungles. 4414. Fucking cheap ass character. Super cheap. I hated fighting. I. Tekken 5 DR Julia is the reason that I would be happy to never see her again. <laughs> if they never had her in Tekken 7, okay. you ain't gonna see any tears from this guy. So anyway, let's do brush fire, right? And we see here it's a negativa, it's a handstand, and it's a freaking block. Ah, yes. Yet another reason to fuck with people if they try to run it at you. We're gonna get a long shot out of them, though that's super unsafe on block. That's similar to the handstand ducking long shot, right? That should be super unsafe. Alright. You can probably still interrupt that. Yeah, see. What the fuck is that? See, it's the fucking input. It's when I hit him, the recording messes up because I'm hitting him. I have to whip it. There it is. So that looks like it might come up fast. I don't know. Yeah. So he has two huge deterrents for you to run after him and try to. Although, if you block that, of course, blow his ass. Negative 16, it says. So negative three on block, relax, mix up out of that. That's a really good move. That's like probably, that might be like a top 10 move for Eddie. It's one of those, like a, a lot, he, I mentioned earlier, he has a lot of these far away knockdowns. That's the kind of shit that will reach for people that wake up into mashing, or maybe wake up into moving, because uh, if you try to wake up into a sidestep, let's see if that works here. Try to wake up into a sidestep or sidewalk. That needs a few frames. So depending on how you realign this, gonna hit him before they can side him. Side wall. Side wall. I guess it's like taking too much of it. 
Negative 14, but look at all the space. Nobody's punching us. Maybe in that situation. Yeah, it was pretty safe, pretty much. Maybe Lars forward back to one will punish that. Not all I can think of. Alright, next. 4 4 4. This is a launcher. I don't know what the juggle is, but because he lands in handstand, as you can see. It used to be you go right into one for a bound, right? It used to be that, but there's no bound. So, anybody know what the juggle is now? Hey, look at that. A little bit of randomness, some random testing. You can do the three, and then that leaves you in relax, and you can press four. Oh wow, that's actually kind of inconsistent. Maybe you got something better. Yeah, that's kind of good. Go for two, four, one, two, four, two. Oh, wow, I forgot he had that. There you go. That's shitty damage, but whatever. Take it if you, take it if you can get it. My recommendation is if you're in the floor break stage, go for the old bound. You're gonna get more damage out of it. It's like I said earlier, you're gonna take you're gonna take the, those two hits to mess with your jungle skills, and then you're gonna already do like shitty damage from that point on. So, all right. So let's see how this is on. Negative fifteen. Pretty bad on block. Definitely gotta be ready to float his ass. This means that you can float him with a slower move. You don't have to punish this with a 15 frame move. You can probably still work with like uh like 16 or 17 or even 18 frames. But as long as you have the reach, the distance. Luckily Eddie has a 15 frame move right there, that's the reach. So you're good. Uh this looks like a unlocked. Here we go. This is like the top five. This is fucking like the. If you're an Eddie player, you're gonna want to learn instant while running because of this move. If you're too obvious with this from back here, you know this is like, if, you know, if people are even remotely knowledgeable about the Eddie matchup, and you're this far apart or even this far apart, they're gonna be thinking about this move. So this is the slide, and this is one of like the only ways that on hit, regular hitting. Um, he can force the real mix up. I think the distance kind of varies in how much he slides into. I think if you land it from far away, he's in a better situation. Yep. So, on hit, it's plus six. Ah, uh, okay. So this is just an Eddie thing. If I were most characters, if I were most characters, I would not be able to back that. <sighs> show it. I tell when you can show. Welcome to the King of Fire Fist Tournament 7. Eddie 
He's just weird because he's known with the dance since the false dance. So he's he's had a weird axis most of the time. So, you know, weird matchup shit to, to consider when it's Eddie versus Eddie. But when it's like pretty much most of the cast, they're not gonna be able to back dash away. Uh, so another thing as is mentioned in the chat right now on counter hit, it starts double. Plus six on regular hit. Starts juggles on counter hit. Reset scaling for grounding, 80%. It's guaranteed still. So yeah, this low is fucking cheap. So the way to punish it. Is just like the slide. Just like the Lee Law slide. Shaheen, you need to float. Float that ass. Whatever your float juggle is. Unfortunately, Giga doesn't seem to have a good float juggle if you're a Giga player. But hey, that's the breaks. You play a shitty character, deal with it, right? So yeah, float that ass. Don't low crush that ass. If you can't float it for a good juggle, low crush. That's all you got. Yeah, I'm sloppy with drag, but I know how to do his good shit. Just have the leg. I'm still sloppy. So yeah, key move while running three. Big, big, big move. The better you're at, at instant while running, the more ranges you can threaten with it. You can threaten it, with, you can, you can threaten it with their face. This is a weird ass situation when you land on their side like this. Yeah. As long as you can get up close, you can do the 50 50, 3 tilde 4, or 4 tilde 3. You got the low slippery kicks. Or, um, or the uh, low slippery kicks, or the mid. Alright, so next on the list, I'm looking at the RB Norway, but let me put this in stand. Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Where you at? Not running. Okay, now we're at the wild standing move. Now keep in mind, people, when you're talking online, I get that this stupid freaking movement is still calls this while rising. We don't call it while rising. WR is not for while rising. Bloodhawk, good looking out. WR is not for while rising. When you see moves, uh, combos typed out because we have a while running state in second. While rising is more like a SOCOM or thing or a virtual fighter thing. Well, virtual fighter, it's a little weird. Not everybody has while rising. It's only a few characters in virtual fighter. But the second, WR means while running. So, for example, the slide is while running 3 plus 4. WR is 3. Sorry. While running, while running 3, not 3 plus 4. So this is WR 3. This move right here is WS 1, 3. While standing 1, 3. 13 frame high double slide. Launch, right? And uh, this shit is cheap because not so many people have 13 frame double starters, right? But uh, most of the other people, well, all the other people that have it, have it with the uh, proper mids. Eddie's is unfortunately a high, boo-hoo, right? But still, this is really good for punishing lows that are negative 13 that leave the opponent standing. Like maybe this, I don't know how bad that is on block, I don't remember. Uh, my opponent's a cross guard, right? This is 14 frames, so he, he would launch this, right? Right? And if you 
do it up. Look up a, a joke. What's up, Doc? So yeah, really, really, really good move. And uh, I do know that he now has a. I don't know if this is new or not. This, this is. I don't think I've ever seen it. This is a course group of all standing one for uh, high mid. I wonder if this is safe. Hey, it is. I didn't know that. Biggie Shorty, thanks for the follow. Uh, I have to about the second. Oh, okay. Let's go for the second. By the way, to go back to Lost Standing 1 4. Whoop, wrong way. Lost Standing 1 4, right? Let's see how fun it is. Lost Standing 1 3. <clears throat> It is negative 14, so this is this uh, similar same situation as when you block back 3-3. Three, three. You need a 14 frame or faster move that will float him. If you don't have that, then you can do a slower single hit, like a stop or some shit. But we know Eddie has a 13 frame move that will float him, right? So Eddie will be able to punish that. But if I were to do a 15 frame move, he's not going to float high enough, right? So match is specific. You use while standing 1-4 to score after sidestep. Oh, while standing 1 4 seems like a good neutral to me, right? Is it a natural combo on normal hit? It is. This is a fucking good move in general. Don't just limit yourself to making this a normal kill. Safe on block, uh. Wait, high, high? Am I seeing that right? It's high mid, right? I'm not crazy. No, it's high high. You know what fucked me up? The hit spark is yellow. Fuck. It's high high. Alright. So it's not that good. Fucking hit spark is yellow. Come on. Come on. That shit camouflage. Alright. So it's a high high. <laughs> Probably duck it. Uh, Stangard. Uh, cross guard. Alright. Oh, wait, no? Wait, why'd you side step? Okay, dog. Alright, rewind. Not as good as I thought. Uh, you can't put any real delay on either option. Any delay at all. Alright. So you gotta commit. Still though, it's not the worst, right? Considering it's a home block. 13, 13 frames. Uh, if you're near the wall. I don't know how his wall combos work when if you were to like to wall splat with this. This is the same damage, 27 damage for both, right? Versus this. This is gonna keep you standing and it's gonna wall splat them, you know, with the spin. But this is gonna wall splat them in some crazy way and you're gonna be on the floor. Uh, I don't really know what's the preferred you know, method. What fucking wall combo are you gonna get off of? Uh, relax. By the way, though, so yeah, it is a tail spin move, right? Wait, so you said side step? Ah, that move. Does he land crouching? How do you, uh... You say convert, use while standing one for to screw after side step deeper floor. How do you do that? Do you do instant? Doing it. How do you convert this into, into while standing on four like you said in chat? Eddie is really that much about precise wall conversion, but he is about four spins. Yeah, I get that, but like, how do you think I can. You're saying I can convert side step into four into while standing one four? How do I do that? Oh, you can recover crouching? Oh, interesting. You can hold that. One way to use that, I guess. Alright, stuff. So. Also, uh. Yeah. Alright. I really wish it was a mid, but whatever. Fuck it. Not a, not a terrible move, but it could be ducked and launched. And then, of course, if they duck, then you could mix it up with mid mid, which is. I'd say. Risky. Next. While rising, too. This is a regular ass 15 frame while standing launch. Block. It is negative 12. Not much else to say here. Uh, I'm pretty straight. Uh, what was the version would be like? It'd be better to do it. Oh, sorry. I like that, right? It is 50 for the answer. Alright, 
Alright, this is a weird ass. This is like a long shot regular hit, but it's slow as shit. 15 damage. 12 damage. A little more damage. And I guess it's a low crush, right? Why would you want to use this one? You can input this as down forward 3. You can input this as basically close in forward 3. I know that. I think this used to be a move that Eddie Perez would do after this, right? But not, not anymore, right? It's not really like a thing that you use this situation. Uh, what is this all about? Negative 13. It's even worse than all standing too. He has a tracking user, which I cannot test this with Teddy. I'd have to pick a regular one. Uh, I'm looking at the RB Norway stuff here. A lot more, according to RB Norway, there is a lot of active frames on this shit. According to Tekken Bot, also, you can see it says 1 out of 6. So this actually has a shitload of active frames. If, uh, there, is, there might be some setups for this to make it safe on block. Because it could be as good as negative 8. Probably sucks as a low crush if it did low crush because it says it jumps on the 17th frame. <laughs> so, maybe not quite a low crush. Uh, and maybe it has some tracking for one side. Maybe there's some sort of pokey situation. Does this hit grounded? How about that? Let's test that. Hey, dude! There you go. Put it instantly as I go. Think of it as if you're inputting like uh, you can just input course and course three. I guess if you want to like make it as fast as possible, uh, treat it kind of like you're trying to do like a dragon off instant shoulder, right? Down, down, over three. I'm just inputting course and course three though. You can see if I record it. Man, it's super sloppy, right? Uh, so it's not bad because it's uh basically all right. Now that I know it hits ground, and you have a grounded hitting mid option. That if you were to catch them like standing to crouch blocking or pressing a button, you just gonna launch them. So this is pretty good. This is pretty good. It's negative 13, so it's not the end of the world. Nobody's gonna launch you for at least. Unless it's like a combo with or Eliza with meter, maybe. I don't know. And this is a kind of standard while standing floor, but it's a bit better. At least for whips, you say. Yeah, it seems to have pretty good range. Deceptively good range, I bet. Oh, that's coming. Alright. Yeah, it's just, like, it's just a little on the slow side. And like the input, if you fuck it up, you get all sorts of weird shit like this. Just don't fuck it up, man. <laughs> Be good. Practice, don't fuck it up. Yeah, that actually has pretty good range. About two Eddie back there. Look at that shit. So yeah, this is this this might be uh, one of your go-to with functions. More range than that. And that's that's faster, but it has more range. You just have to account for the weird input. Okay, so that's definitely a good move. Better than better than it may seem at first. Uh, while standing four, this is a pretty much sort of typical while standing four, but it seems better on block than most. The trade-off seems to be the the weird ass animation makes it have kind of a shitty hitbox, right? I feel like on certain axis, like if a character is kind of off axis to Eddie's right, this could sometimes whip. I don't know, it might just be in my head, but that's what it seems like to me. How the way it goes, negative 3 on block for a wall standing 4, 11 frame wall standing 4 is pretty good. Uh, standard shit on hit, plus 8. It does have 4 active frames according to this shit. I don't know if you can really get anything. Situations where you would get that kind of thing. Uh, plus eight, some pushback. So be mindful of that. So if you were to like hit this shallow, you probably might not want to get a little too swing happy there. Oh, okay. Outside of that, it's your standard uh, 11 frame all standing four. Uh, full crouch down, back, or down one. 
put down forward he goes to handstand. Alright, so this is natural combo, right? Damn. <laughs> you see that shit? How he's off axis constantly because it's double eddy. Alright, uh, 23 damage just with wall splash. Uh, a little too far to really. This wall splat on normal hit. Not on normal hit, but this is, I think, a negative 14. Ha ha. Negative 14 on block, yep. So be careful. Some characters will launch into this. Some characters being uh, a machine that's on point with electrics. Uh, Lars will forward back 2 1 this shit. Uh, Geese could back 3 2 with meter. Uh, Brian could dread up her. Because it is a two-hit string, so like those kinds of launchers will be easier to, than usual. Certainly easier than like trying to perfect electric fucking hot. Right? You hit the perimeter as well, huh? That's uh, that's a pretty easy. All right, so this one's even better than I thought. Thank you for giving me the heads up on that. Sometimes I forgot to check. Them. Holy shit! Seems like no matter how much I delay it, it, it uh, it, uh, combos. Yeah, that's, that's really good. Especially at the fucking wall, cause, uh, the range is alright, about one back dash work. Uh, I wonder if that animation, it makes it look like he's leaning back. I wonder if that animation will make him evade some shit. Super hiccup. Guess the first is safe. Yeah, I saw it earlier. It was, uh... Oh. <laughs> Not quite. Stay here the first device, though. Uh, I got nothing to Do I have a 14 frame move? I know my 13 frame. Oh, distance. What the fuck? <laughs> Eddie. Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. This is like the Feng shit, right? The Feng quarter circle forward two, whatever, where you go through him. But they're both dancing around, so Eddie's doing a move that moves him forward while this motherfucker is dancing around the other side, so they're clipping and shit. Anybody uh, off the top of your head? A 14 frame move real quick. Oh, yeah, the infamous one. Yes, there it is. <laughs> the good old back one. Used to be a lot scary. But yeah, punish. Negative 14 on block, confirmed, right? 15, no good. Jesus Christ. Okay, it's, uh, it's not that good, but it's good. <laughs> it's still good. It's not so, because like, the, the second hit doesn't have any crazy uh, counter hit properties. So, like, if you're fishing for the second hit, it's kind of whatever. But if you're using it at the wall, then all of a sudden the second hit becomes a lot scarier, right? Oh, if he doesn't delay, it doesn't let him swing. Yeah. It's 14 damage, so... Mid-stage... I mean, if you're fighting against Eddie, and they're fishing for this like this, I don't know how you're gonna see it. It looks really weird. It looks really weird when he delays it, because it looks like he's doing the T-Hawk dive forward, and then he keeps that pose, and it sticks his fucking pecker out even more for the second hit. Thanks for the follow, uh, Toy Toy Bola. To to toy Bola. To toy Bola? To toy Bola. Um, yeah, that's a weird looking animation. Alright, so definitely save this shit for the wall, I would say. Good, good distance on it. I think it's knocked down on uh, yeah. Is this one of those up three situations? Nope, too slow. Alright. I, 
Actually, you just got like a quick level. Huh? Yeah. Get like a down there. He might as well be trying to kick himself. Uh, Alright, let's see how this is. Walk. Oh, it hits grounded, so that's another use for that. This is really bad on block. You hold down though, he goes to relax at negative eight. Hit maybe is great, but on block that seems really bad. So here's the. Oh, let's do that too, because of course you can. This is pretty much what I'm worried about. See, so what I'm guessing here. Ooh, crazy. What I'm guessing here is depending on the matchup. Never mind that shit. Uh, so depending on the matchup, you can pretty much beat out anything he does here if you swing with like a decent ranged move. That will cover you, has a low enough hitbox to cover you if he goes to relax and catch him if he does this. Uh, and if it happens to be 17 frames or faster, <laughs> all the better. Seems kind of, uh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe he's creating no space that you, know, you really don't want to swing at this stuff. Uh, Is, is hitting as a punish. So we can confirm that. And then we can confirm that 18 is not hitting as a punish. That's 18. That's the other one, uh, that low. So I'm guessing that the second bot is probably right about this one. Uh, nah, Close Circle Forward 3 is like 19. Is this music in one of your YouTube players? Yes, it is. This is playlist number 5. It starts with Yakuza music and then goes into Daytona USA and Rick Racing. Alright, so. So yeah, I guess the handstand transition is what's going to make people afraid to swing at this on block. On hit though, on regular hit, come on second bot, plus two, let's see what RB normally says. Full crouch. Wow, RB normally doesn't have it. Oh it does, so you could input this as while standing for people's full also, apparently, not just full crouch people's full. According to RB Norway, first of all, there's a lot of uh, uh, active frames, so you can get plus two to plus seven. Uh, it looks like it should have a lot of active frames, so that's no surprise there. On hit, it forces crouch. On block, it doesn't. If you go and hold back to go to handstand, it becomes negative two at worst to plus three at best, still forces crouch obviously. Uh, on block, negative 21 to negative 16 at best. If you go into relaxed, on block, it becomes negative 8 to negative 3 at best, plus 11 to plus 16 force crouch. So this on hit actually is like the most advantageous way to go into relax. How's the position? That looks like he's really good position. On hit, you could definitely force the uh, launch mix-up. Yeah, too much plus. I can't even start a backdash if I try. I gotta switch playlists. Give me a moment here. 
Go back to that. Yatsunori Mitsuda playlist. Alright. And he has a decent full cross mix up with the low you'll find soon. I know the low you're talking about already. Yeah, he does. Definitely one of those uh, definitely is, he's definitely one of those characters that can force full cross mix ups because he has quite a variety of options here as you can see. So on hit, it's probably might be the best situation on hit it's a relax it's a force and relax mix up because you force crouch you're plus uh, 11 right or plus 10 or 11 whatever right and then uh you're right in their face so they can't back dash away from the uh, look so pretty good on hit on block not so great on block kind of gimmicky kind of get away with it if you get people afraid of swing at you because of the handstand. Otherwise, though, I would be very careful because... Now, you won't be floated unless you mash. Like, he could tech that second hit. You'll be, you will be hit. Oh. So there's also probably situations where you could end a juggle with this for Oki. Like, uh... uh okay. Oh, maybe not. You'd have to recover crouching them off of the tailspin. I guess not. It'd be a weird thing to do. Full crouch down forward four. This is probably the low that you're talking about, isn't it? I know this low. All right, this is another pretty decent way to go into this because he's plus four, right? And I don't know if the spacing works in his favor as. Well, let's, let's do the other one. I don't even need a backdash. So, even though it's Eddie, I, th I think your average character will get away from this. I mean, why, why am I talking shit? Just test it, right? Just be sure. Let's do it with Dragon All. Welcome to the King of Iron Fist Tournament. And I don't trust the AI on doing this for me, so I'm gonna record it on myself. Because the AI might show it, but then you try to input it, and it's like, what the fuck? When you, when you have the trading dummy backdash after getting hit. Get ready for the next battle. battle, battle. Uh, using Dragon Ball, I'll also show you how to punish this low because I know this one already. Uh, weird ass input, Betty. Like a sloppy uh, executioner already, but come on. The timing is weird. Isn't it? I'm trying to input 4 p.m. on 3, you know? 4 till the 3. Yeah, you have to delay it until he lands and shit, right? Yeah, see? As long as you get a good clean backdash. You have to time it late because you had to recover first. You, know? you get away from that. Oh, maybe not consistently. There it is. Weird shit. <laughs> it's actually quite difficult to do. So it might still be good in this situation. As for how to punish this, you have to do your 11 frame wall standing move really fast. Before he lands on the floor, you will float him and then you punish. So whatever. And that's basically how you punish that shit. So depending on your character, you do whatever floating move. Let's see how fast I can float him. Let's see the 15 frame. 
Oh, look at that. A 15 frame float in his ass. So if you need 15 frames to float, you can totally do that shit. Like, maybe Gigas should get a double out of this. I wonder. Since I play Gigas, let's see. Probably not, but <laughs> let's find out. Welcome to the King of Iron Fist. Poor Gigas. Can't get a full double on block slide. Eddie Gordo. Got a little parry. Gigas probably won't be able to back that shit away from any relaxed mix-up that <laughs> Now that I think about it. Oh, poor Gigas. I would feel bad, but Marduk's not in the game, so go fuck yourself. Full crouch. If you were at least able to do this instead of that, it wouldn't... <laughs> oh, man. This character is so shitty. Man, you can't even do that. You can do that on the floor break stage. Uh... See, that's a punish, but that's not a float. But whatever. Uh, so on block, this is like negative 26, it says. Yeah. <sighs> I mean, yeah, the, the down four one plus two screening is one of the good things about this matchup. Because Gigas will be able to, anytime he even sees relax, if he hits him with this shit, he's going to get the, uh, you know, the rescaling on the last hit for the most part. So... Like, I'm sure that that's good. Right? You can't tech out of the, from the second hit, then the third hit is going to be guaranteed. Pretty much. Right? And that's the thing he can do to Eddie in general. And that's just good. So in situations like he can't float into double like other characters can, but he'll pretty much always get that for a nice chunk of damage. And even in situations where Eddie can be floating, he's just going to fucking boom, boom, boom for like 20 or 30 damage or whatever. Which is not too far off compared to what you would get for a flow juggle anyway, right? A flow juggle is going to be like 40, mid 40s to 50, low 50s. Welcome to the King of Iron More than likely low 40s to mid 40s. Oh, we go. That's how you punish that low. Blow his ass. As long as you have something that's going to float him high enough for you to continue a juggle, even if it's on the slower side, you're going to be able to do it in that situation. And that's how you punish that level. You know, like, uh, somebody like Lee would be able to do what? His while standing two into the homie, uh, while standing two into the quote through option, that would find the way it goes, that's a really good look. Plus four, and you can force your rela uh, relax mix up a lot better. Next. Where the fuck am I at? Where the fuck am I at? Oh, is that a generic look? Let's see, full cross down back four. Oh, huh. I forgot this even existed. This is a weird move. Negative 10 <laughs> on the block. I do know that on counter hit though. This does. Ugh. Wait, maybe it needs to be on axis. There it is. Now, as far as what he gets out of this, I, I remember looking at this move last time. I couldn't fucking figure it out for the life of me. Like, that's not a combo. He's gonna, I gotta turn tech on. You know? Can you get a combo out of this? Uh, or does he have to be near the wall? Oh, 
don't know. You guys know? Get like a difficult pickup. Get ready for the next battle. battle, battle. All right, let's see. Sure, near the wall, you got some bunch of nasty shit. Right. I don't know what. What would be like a wall combo? mid that would probably hit there. Ah. Crouch cancel back three three relax four. Or something. So yeah. Free shit at the wall. But, like, it doesn't seem like he gets anything, not even a single hit mid-stage. If he does, it's probably really fucking hard to execute, because you'd have to dash and perfectly input without wasting too many frames, right? So, um... Free shit at the wall, for sure. He does recover crouching. So, that means negative 10 recover crouching means, uh, we're gonna punish. And you'll get a crouch. It's kind of like a Brian 444. Although in the case of Brian's 444, it forces you crouch. This, you're gonna when you block this, you're gonna recover standing, but he's gonna recover crouching. So I'm assuming he worked up jet. Pretty good. Not amazing, but good. Yeah, I think it's pretty good. Considering that you can't really punish maybe Gigas on region. Most Gigas on the region. Like I'll be, you know, if I'm fighting Eliza and Crouch Jab were to reach, she would be able to launch you. Crouch Jab is a zipper. You know, or a geese with meter. Crouch Jab, quarter simple back with one. Uh, super cancel. Uh, this weird ass shit. Is that even an attack? This one was gonna be too annoying to set up. My guess is. It's probably some goofy ass setup for this one. Corner RB Norway, this is plus one on block. 47 frame start. It does jump, it jumps very hard. 47 frame start, a plus one on block, it knocks down on hit. Music is too loud? Thanks. Alright. Is that better? Also, because my YouTube tracks, the volume is uneven. So, that kind of thing just happens. Uh, I don't know how I would set this up. I did it before, but like, how would I set this up to test the usefulness? This is the kind of shit that's like. You'd have to like really ask an Eddie Purist about uses for this kind of move. Because I don't know how I would set this up. Back turn three plus four. But here's how it looks. Uh, see, he jumps really high. That makes you think that like he might jump over jabs, right? If at the apex of his jump, he might go over both jabs, maybe. He would definitely go over mids. And it is plus one on block, so. Normal hit juggle star. So it's not like, it doesn't seem like it's a terrible move. Yeah, it's super situational. Like, that's clear, obvious. You, you have to be back turn to use it, you know? Yeah, I 
I won't play with the point. All right, so now we got sidestep moves. We got a lot of sidestep moves. I'm not gonna lie by going at it. I know that I'm gonna have to make this motherfucker a three-parter. I just don't know when to cut it off for today because my ass is killing me. Um, let me see. Let me look ahead. Let's go through these sidestep moves. Ouch. This shit is starting to scratch my leg. Gotta shave this down. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can just go through these sidestep moves and maybe I'll call it there for today. Yeah, the lot. Alright, so for Eddie, sidestep is pretty <laughs> might as well be a stance. I think he might be uh, the only cat not the character. He might have the most sidestep moves, moves out of sidestep, out of the whole cast. Because most of the characters have like maybe two, three, or four moves. Eddie has like a whole fucking you know stance with the move, so I could consider this one of his stances, I guess. And we're starting with sidestep two, which is this goofy ass looking mid punch. The Tekken bot doesn't know what to make of it. <laughs> two comma underscore Q. Uh, 14 frame startup. So it's pretty fast, but you're not gonna punish it for 14 minutes because it's a sidestep move. Plus nine. Plus, sorry, plus five. Uh, hits. Counter hit, juggle starter. All right. So this is pretty good. Depending on how it is on block. And because it's a uh, sidestep move, you could have some bootleg tracking attached to it. Zero on block. This is pretty freaking good. Zero force crouch. So on hit, it forces crouch uh, plus five. The spring kick is too safe for him to be able to do a move after. Zen? Are oh, you talking about the back turn three plus four? Oh, you're talking about the wake up drill kick. Yeah, yeah, he gets punished. No, it's not like that. And when he hits, he knocks you down. He gets punished on his back. Said so sidestep two. Seems like a pretty good move to me. Zero on block? You kidding me? Zero force crash on block? That's pretty good. Force crash, one back dash, don't whiff any while standing four for the most part, right? And you launch that ass with a, with a uh, down four with equal four. Just like that, right? I don't know if I did a good enough back dash, but. See if I could get uh, get this to work. Yeah, maybe not for Eddie. Uh, well, if you find a character that has shitty range on their wall standing moves, I feel like Eddie might have above average range. That's a massive thing to consider. You could backdash. Of course, you could do you know. I was about to say sidestep. Maybe you can sidestep in a specific situation with Eddie. It might work. You, don't know, you never know. Like, that was my size step. Hey, you get around while standing four. That's about all he gets around, but you know, <laughs> you got something. Tracks that side that well? Go figure. Alright. So he gets around the wall standing one. I right, still that's a that's a pretty damn good move. Alright, next. Hot plate special. So you've seen this move. Oh wow. <laughs> you've definitely seen this move. He has like ways to fake out into it. So it seems to be like it's the same shit here. Plus six. On hit, it's a relax, but it pushes back. So you can't really do a launcher mix up. Knocks down on counter hit. So you're too you're too far. They could be holding back. They don't even need to back that. So you could be holding back and they won't get hit by that clean. Um so on block hop play special. Negative five. So this is basically punishable by a quick look. Negative five on block, you'll be able to interrupt anything he does or catch him trying to get up and block, all that shit. Oh my god, 
bite. <laughs> Catch him with a quick low poke. And that's how you punish that. Because <clears throat> he, he doesn't have the option to stay standing. He has to go to his eyes. Wait. Am I talking shit? Oh, this is the fake out. Alright, I thought I was going crazy. Sorry. I'm like, <laughs> was I holding down? Is that why he's recovering and uh, relaxed? You can tell I'm starting to lose steam here. Alright, so, um... If you hold down before it hits, you're gonna cancel. Just go right to relax, and then maybe you can fake out. And go into a, a launcher or whatever. Right? Fucky stuff. He has that out of his transitions into that move also. Uh, and the same thing for handstand. Yeah. So this is just like, yeah. Wow. I thought he would go backwards. That actually looks really fucking weird. Oh my god. It looks like he should be dislocating his elbows doing this. Cancel that back handstand down, relax. And after it connects, you can go into a handstand. It is negative 16, but like a lot of the other handstand transitions, it creates a ton of space. So if you swing at him, there's a high chance you'll whiff. If I were geese, I would try down four maybe. That might reach, because down four is 17 frames and has a ton of range. And of course he has the kick uh, launcher out of this. Okay. So if you try to run at him, launch that ass. But if you block that, you float it. It's like negative 20 something, right? God man. That's crazy shit. Come on. What was it? Negative 16. So it's not that bad on block, but you float his ass. You can probably float him with a slower move for sure, but you know. It's really the armor you want to worry about, or the duck, the, the handstand duck after that. If you, if you were to try to go for a slower mid, for example, the handstand duck might go under. Whoops. Twister! Ah, this... This shit is cheap. This is a fuck. So if the first one only gets blocked, it's not even 12. Right? There's something about this. There it is. If you get both of them <laughs> to be blocked, it's a little weird because Eddie is still fucking dancing when he's crouching, so it's hard to get him to block both. But mo it's easier to get uh, most characters to block both that don't do stupid shit when they're ducking, right? It's negative two on block, and you create a lot of space. So this is like... You used to see a lot of this into this. That used to be a real... I think it's still a popular setup, really, when you think about it. You know? So, this shit is fucking cheap. This shit is super duper cheap. CPU goes straight to hands... Handstand slippery. Handstand window kicks, yeah. Um, there's a lot going on. As far as how it is on hits... Uh, oh, yeah. I forgot about that. That's the thing that makes this less cheap. It's not a natural combo. But, in the instance where you get hit by the first one and block the second one, depending on, like, the angle and shit, it becomes plus one. If you pay attention to the second bot, there are times where it becomes plus two. There are times where it becomes negative. As long as he's blocking the second one after getting hit by the first one, it appears to be plus. If the first one hits and the second one whips, he's only, like, negative one or negative two. And that, there's one time where it was zero. Because of all the weird shit interacting here, the constant, act, the constant access shifts, it's gonna be like inconsistent frame data. But in general, it's, it's really good on hit and on block. What I don't know is if you can low parry it after the first two minutes. you do is block. When you block, you safe. Yeah, so this is fucking cheap. That's low pair you think that's coming out. Super duper cheap. 
encounter here. I don't know if that thing is special. Yeah, not a special encounter. It still doesn't even it doesn't even combo encounter hit. I don't know if there's uh, anything going on with the second hit on counter hit. If I could even set that up, because the second hit has sh the second hit has shorter range than the first hit, so it's like. And it won't let me. It basically jails me. It won't let me swing between the hits. So, if, the, if there are any counter hit properties on the second hit, I don't know if you're ever gonna see that. Take a look at our Norway. <sighs> yeah, RV Norway says if you <laughs> according to RV Norway, right? Which is basically in a second. If you get the second hit to counter hit by itself, he's between plus twelve at worst to plus eighteen at best. How you could make that happen, I don't fucking know. I don't know. There has to be like, if that's possible, there would have to be some super specific situational setup. Um, so yeah. Well, yeah. All right. So Twister, really cheap move, probably an Eddie top ten, maybe even top five move. I don't know. Really, really fucking cheap. It sets itself up as a whiff punisher. It's like, you can just kind of get close and throw it out there, and if they don't low parry, it's like, whatever, big fucking whoop. You know, I feel like this shit would make hop kicks whiff in certain situations because he's moving to his left. So I feel like this might be evasive also. I don't know, that just could be in my head or you know, but still. This is definitely like a cheap ending. It's just low damage, that's all. Very low damage. Um, oh yeah. You can go into handstand. You can cancel the second kick. Go into handstand at apparently negative six. Top one move. <laughs> I don't know if I would put his best move. Come on. Eddie has a lot of good shit. Like, th this is a really fucking good move. Better, maybe even better than that. It's just that, you know, having a lot of good lows is a good thing. And he has a couple, right? He has more than a couple good lows. Um, <clears throat> so... So I said three, so I said four rather back. So I said four back while RB Norway doesn't say what it is. So, according to second bot, negative six, negative five. I should just trans, <laughs> I should just uh, act it up. So the second bot is usually bad at like showing transitions like this, like proper frame data. So I'll have to test this the good old fashioned way. Actually. 12 frame mid, right? So if it were uh, negative six, it would exchange with the 18 frame move, right? That's 18 frame low. Okay, so yeah, bot is wrong. 13 frame wins. 14 frame loses, but it could be an angle. Thing. It could be just he's at a weird angle. I'm counter hitting him, so the 13 is interrupting him. But the 14 is losing clean, which is weird because it should be exchanging or something. frame mid wins out to the course which means a jab is gonna lose out because he's at a weird angle <laughs> all right um either way it goes that kind of gap Gotta worry about the armor. So 
on hit, this seems pretty legit because the mid is gonna really fuck you up for doing anything, and the armor will hit you, will, uh, hit you doing trying to. Uh... So, this is basically the good old uh, 12 frame low rule. If you got a 12 frame low, you'll hit him pretty much trying to do anything out of that. Like Nina will float him. Even though, the, even if you were to hit her like that, if she were to instantly react with a down four, which is risky, because like I said, he could just create a lot of space and whiff punish your ass, right? Just by doing the side step four by itself and then back dashing. Uh, but yeah, if you uh, if someone like Nina were to instantly do a down four, down four one, she would float him and get a juggle. No matter what he does. Okay. You can stop. And then, of course, is this shit. You can kind of mash it out, even though it says neutral. Side step four, neutral three. You can just mash three. Just low parry this. Uh, second hit is negative 45, but he's all the way over there. Might need to dash up. See? Although, in the case of Eddie, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> we saw earlier that has a shitload of range. So, this is a good situation where, you, you know, for the most part, Eddie will be able to consistently punish uh, anything that recovers far. And he loves. Either way, he goes negative 45. This is the kind of shit he could just do, like, crouch cancel and, like, all sorts of crazy shit to him, right? I could dash. You could crouch cancel with a dash and launch that. This is really low to the floor. You can cross stab in between. 12 frame mid loses. And of course, 13 frame mid loses. So at best, you can cross stab in between. Good enough for geese, I guess. Crouch, counter hit, crouch stab, forward one. Well, I mean, you know, video games. Legitimacy only matters if people are doing what I'm saying, right? You gotta test them, right? Eddie seems to be a, a, Eddie seems to have a lot of shit going on where you could like just use certain moves to test people's knowledge on the matchup, and then the moment you get that information, react accordingly. Do you see? Like, if, you, if you're fighting Nina, you shouldn't go into it saying, "Oh shit, it's Nina. I'm gonna get hit with down four one if I try to do anything into handstand." You should be going in saying, does this guy that I'm playing as, or a girl or whatever, know that, that Nina could just down for me out of all this shit? And then, you play accordingly. Don't limit yourself when you don't have to. My only suggestion is just don't make it a habit to always treat everything, every situation the same and like, oh, I gotta get the win, so I just, I'm gonna do all this crazy shit. No, like, read your opponent and get better at that. But if you're in like in a, in a match where it's like, all right, you're, you're, you're treating it serious, it's like a set, like a short set, like a first to five, you're playing against a friend or somebody, or you're at a tournament, then you should bust out the pocket sand, right? And either way, you know, shit like this move right here is going to stop people from mashing because I just showed you that that low interrupts my 12 frame mid, which means it'll interrupt the 12 frame low. So you have that super high risk option to like deter people from mashing so you can go into, into the handstand off of that much better. Super high risk. All right, uh, like even geese will like cross cancel forward one plus two your ass for that shit. That's <laughs> the slowest shit ever. Um, next. Starting sidestep, four to this is the draw kick, isn't it? Now, the thing about this move is, this was really good in tag two, because you could use this as like a tag assault. I don't know if you could use it as a tag assault filler or a jungle ender after a tag assault, because it's one hit that does 50 fucking damage. A ton, ton of damage. So it was good for that. In this game, it's a high, right? Oh my God. It's a super slow high. I don't know. I don't know how you would use this. Um, kind of like King's Boomerang, I guess. What was it? Side step four for King, right? Uh, 
Oops. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's negative 12 with a ton of pushback at least, so you're pretty, you're pretty much safe. Uh, nobody's gonna punish you with this much range. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's safe. It does a lot of damage. I mean, if, if there's a way you could, like, if you were able to do this after a floor break, maybe? Until a wall's flat? I don't think so. I feel like we would have been seeing that if you could. You'd probably recover way too slow. Yeah, I, I, I can't think of a good reason to use this move. To be honest with you guys. Only one active frame according to second bot. That's probably not right. Uh, side step forward, side step three. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Head up to Eddie Pierce. Maybe they'll be they'll give you a better use of this move. I'm moving on. Okay. Cancel to handstand. It, lo it looks fancy. And it has a, once again, negative 28, but a, ugh, once again, negative 28 but it creates a ton of space, so you might as well consider this safe. But it's kinda whatever. If that drop kick were a mid with the rest of this data being the same, that's a different story. Then it might be too good, but, um, yeah. Uh, Sidestep for, okay, this is the one, ah, of course. So he has a mix-up. I don't know why they separated it with the dropkick. That should have came after, but whatever. It's weird. Uh, <laughs> so he has that, or... So the data seems to be the same. The same as like doing it from full crouch. Same thing. And I've definitely seen Eddie players use this. Definitely. Just like uh, the other time, you hold down to go into relax, negative eight. And then you hold back to go into handstand, negative 26. And the same data on hit, too. Oh, sorry, I had to hold down. What's up, Landonio? Uh, side step four. Plus seven, yes. Wow, it actually doesn't show it here for some reason. Arby Nori is not showing the uh, the cancels, but I'm gonna. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be the same frame data, right? If you, if you were to go to relax. This is a good move, right? It's just a really weird hitbox on it because it's Eddie. Everything is weird. All right. Uh, so here's the thing: it's negative 17. If only the first kick is blocked, right? Isn't there a way to block? Uh, I feel like there's a way to make this better. There we go. Oh, here's another thing: if I sidestep up, he comes towards the screen. He goes to his right. So basically, he does this the opposite direction that he sidesteps in, which changes up the way this hits, hitbox and all. So if both kicks are blocked, it's negative 12, as you can see. If only the first kick is blocked, it's fucking awful. So it's fucking weird. It's really weird. And also, he creates some space here, so it's, <laughs> it's a lot of weird shit going on with this weird-ass kick. Uh, but this is a launcher. High mid, right? See, none of my 12 frames, none of my 12 frames, no matter how I block it, none of my 12 frame moves are reaching. Even when I only block the first hit. And good luck uh, being able to tell if you only blocked one or two and then react accordingly in, in the heat of a match. You know, it's <laughs> not an easy thing to do. So this is a fucking weird ass move. It's awful on whiff though. Like on whiff, you're gonna get launched for the most part. But uh, if you get him to block it, it's, you know, the frame data doesn't tell the whole story on this one, basically, is what I'm saying. Um, 
And yeah, you could uh, hold, as I learned earlier, next to video games in the chat, you could hold down and recover and crouch it. Now, does that change the block data? That I don't know. Let's see. According to RB Norway, it doesn't. He's still a negative 12. So, I guess not. It does make him easier to punish with uh, standing four, though. <laughs> Uh, unless you only block the, unless you block, oh yeah, if you only block the first one, I seem to be hitting him. But if I block both, it's not reaching. Weird shit. Um, yeah, and here's the crazy thing: if you try to like punish this, and he recovers ducking, that's gonna be a while standing one three up your ass, right? Free launch. High high, get launched. Yeah, this is a really good. One. Also, the startup is 13 frames. Not that you'll be punishing negative 13 with it, because it's a sidestep move, but still. It's a fast move, too. Basically. <laughs> Countless baits. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, that's a scary one, that's for sure. Alright, sidestep. Uh... Oh yeah, by the way, he has uh, some follow-ups. <laughs> oh, the Sao Paulo special, huh? Sao Paulo Brazil. Look at all that shit he can do out of that, huh? <laughs> huh, 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 huh. Uh, this is kind of gimmick, I think. I think it's only the first one that's good. Ooh, look at what we have here, Chrono Cross. It's like, stop it, Eddie. Come on. <laughs> stop. Stop. I'm trying to make it. Oh, he jumped over. He jumped over the mid. <laughs> if you want to get crazy, I guess I would go into the second one because if they were to fuck up and you jump over him, it's a launcher on normal hit, too. I just accidentally discovered something. Okay, that's only for the string. gets interrupted, which means 14 would exchange. Fair to say, right? Yeah, see, my 15 loses, my 13 wins, so a 14 frame move will exchange. On that third hit. Same thing for the last one. 14 frame exchange, 13 it's a row, 13 are fast. Just make it a jab. And any of this, make it a jab. Gimmicky, gimmicky shit. Ah, the third hit is a jungle starter too. How about the fourth hit? Not the fourth hit. <laughs> the first, second, and third hits are all juggle starters. Ah, yet another pretty good look. Little on the weird side, much like this is all his side step moves. Maybe not. 
Well, anyway, this is another one where he goes in the opposite direction that he sidesteps in. He does it with both of his legs, as you can tell. If I sidestep right, his right leg sweeps him. If I sidestep left, his left leg sweeps him, and he comes towards the screen. So that's an interesting thing about this movie. So, it's a knockdown low, so you know it's going to be garbage on block, right? <laughs> Negative 28. No block stun now. I mean, uh, no uh, no block stagger. And no block stun for you, so. Make sure you uh, have some range here, because as you can see, he creates quite a bit of space. So whatever you, uh, also, the, ra the, the range on this off by itself is a little funky, because especially we're doing double eddy here, and they're both dancing around. The axis is all messed up, right? So he's just whipping for no reason. The range doesn't seem super great on this in general. As far as if he gets anything. That sets that up. If they hold back, you turn forward plus three plus four into a juggle start. Because four three plus four, if this is two hits, right? Ba -ba. If the second hit connects by itself, it's a juggle starter, and it's only negative uh, four on block with four active frames. So this low, this fucking weird ass inputting, weird ass animating low, kind of sets that up for you. I mean, maybe it's matchup dependent. But, uh, yeah, give me the timing. Huh. There it is. You got to mash. Yeah, you got to mash. So basically, the way I'm doing it is I'm holding four right now, right? And then while I'm holding four, input sidestep one while holding four. And then while I'm still holding four, mash four plus three. See? When I found this move last time, when I found out that forward plus three plus four does that, I knew. I knew there was going to be a way to set it up. Somewhere. There's always something. Counter hit. I don't know. Positioning. All right, let's have it recorded on me. Uh, yeah, it's a little weird. Because of all the weird shit going on, it's a little funky, as you can see. I'm doing it slow, I think, too. There it is. I can tell because he stepped forward before doing it. Yeah, you can't hold back. You can't hold back. Hello, Will Shark. And if you stay down, obviously, it hits you. You cannot stand block it. So basically, forward 3 plus 4 is guaranteed, but if you were to try to get up, he's gonna murk your ass. Which means, if you want to give them a reason to get up, a reason to stand, you do that. And then if they stayed down, bam, you're gonna get 20, uh, whatever. 27, was it? Whatever the fuck. Weird janky-ass move. Alright, it's like, oh, I'm gonna stay down. Bam! You give him 24 damage. There goes. And that's gonna give him a reason. Otherwise, they're turning that low into a, what was it, 40, it was my math, 47 damage low, basically. <laughs> if, they, if, they, if they got afraid of the forward plus three plus four. Because the forward three plus four is going to get less damage than that shit. Because only one hit is going to connect. The weaker hit. Yeah, no problem. Alright. 
the update might be reactable. Nope. Oh, see, because what's going on is if I try to get up when I see the up three, I'm going to get hit in the back. Right? If I'm not getting up right away... Maybe. Maybe. Ah, man. You have to... You have to... You might be... Alright, first of all, remember, in this situation, just like before, you tap up and then hold back. You're gonna block faster. Block mids faster. First of all. So remember that. You might... Maybe, if you're, like, on the fucking beta blockers or some shit, be able to react to that flip and block in time. But if you're slow, that's what's gonna happen, and you're gonna eat 30 damage instead of 24 damage. Even though they are painfully long and I can't retain the info. Rorschach, I'm not retaining this info either. I don't remember the last character I fucking did, and it's one of my current highest ranked online characters. Geese? Never fucking heard of him. I don't remember a goddamn thing. Right? <laughs> Still, though, it's uh, material that one day, I, if I have a lot of time to kill, I can go back to. I want to get uh, back on my video editing chops, right? Keep working on that shit, because that's what I'm taking in fucking school. I got one semester left. And I want to start doing some, like, short, like, starter guides. Everybody's fucking doing those, but I'm also doing myself, too. On the characters that I've done. You know, first, firstly, on the characters that I've been using. I want to make Geese my first one. Just like nice little starter guides for like punishes, some basic setups, and certain ways to use certain pokes. And so again, you know, get started, use these like 20 moves, and then learn the rest of the shit later. Right. I, I'm saying that, but like I'm, I've been really bad about you know doing things that I try to commit to, keeping my commitments. All right. See now we're hands center. Right? This is where I said I wanted to stop for part two here. Let's see what's left. Cause my ass is killing me. So we got hand stand and then negativa and then the throws. Negativa is what we call relaxed stats. RLX. Negativa. Ten hit combos and then the grabs. Rodeo. Oh, he has a crouch grab? I forgot he has a crouch grab. Let's see how that looks. Oh, I thought he was going to bulldog his ass. He jumped up like he was going to fucking hit him with the uh, Steiner brothers. And then he somehow flipped on his neck. That was, that was interesting. And of course, Rodeo. Rodeo! It's a pretty smooth input. Half circle forward. All right. So, I'm definitely going to call it there for now. Um, I'm gonna do part two soon. I don't want to commit on the day because last time I committed to the day for this one uh, I, I said I was gonna do it yesterday, and then I was too fucking tired from work But you know you guys know follow keep an eye out I'm gonna stream some Yakuza if not later today then tomorrow for sure I want to go through my Yakuza 5 shit before school starts for me in the end of January and then sometime between, wait, Today is uh, Wednesday What's today? Today is Thursday so sometime during the weekend, I'm going to do part three. And depending on how fast I finish up the moves, I'll also swap out, uh, do Eddie and Lily and test his tracking properly. 